lie down, Jack, and we'll pretend that you were just dragged onto the beach. We really don't need Jack this time. We have a demo tape. Oh. I'm sorry, Jack. There are lots of times when I need advice from an adult, when I'm not sure if I have a real problem or if my imagination is running away with me. Well, even when I stay calm, keep cool, and think, I may need to talk to someone. If you've completed this series, you should be very proud. But don't stop here. Make a promise to yourself and the ones that love you to review this program often so that you will be ready if an emergency occurs. Remember, sometimes we get excited and confused when we're in danger. Write down important rules and numbers. It'll help you clear your mind when you need it most. Most of all, be honest with yourself. Do you ever catch a bad case of show-off-itis and ignore your common sense? Look, Lindsay, no hands! You just took the time to learn about safety. And you're in great company. Just ask any great athlete or movie stuntman. They'll tell you that they always have safety on their minds. Now you will too. And so will I. Live from Club Chris, it's Kid Chris. Tonight's guest is you, America. Call in at 513-813-7979. Now here's Kid Chris. Booyah! What up, what up, man? Listen, tonight's special night. I don't know how long I'm going to go because, uh, you know, I actually have a client meeting with Stuart W. Penrose tonight. But it's a special night. Mm. Now, tonight, live, Club Chris. You can call, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, I'm kind of busy because we have some uh, special guest. Uh, but 513-813-7979, that's the uh, phone number. Now, you know these guys uh, for years and years and years. Now, when I uh, worked in Wichita, Kansas back in 1998, I used to make some prank calls to radio shows and stuff and start wars and all. I've been doing that since I was a little kid. I loved it. So I thought it would be fun to do that for radio too. You know, it's been done. Anyhow, but uh, I love it. And my friend, uh, let's see, Gavin, who used to be Larry from high school on the show, you know, he's since passed away. Him and uh, my buddy Corey and Paul, we used to make prank calls and all that stuff. Then I moved on to Sacramento, and that's when uh, East Coast Bob hit the scene. He heard me making these calls to radio shows and stuff, then he started doing it, and he took it to a whole fucking other level. Now, East Coast Bob, like, has kind of stopped doing it. He kind of retired from doing it. But he would get on CNN and all these, like, big news events and call in and then drop my name or something. I don't know. But it, that was always a fucking, that was awesome. And then uh, we moved on to uh, to Sacramento. Or, no, from Sacramento to San Antonio. And East Coast Bob was still doing it then. And then we picked up, like, uh, Sam FM was doing stuff. And then when we moved to oh, and Bob Levy. Then when we moved to Philadelphia, and then Jimmy Jitsu came aboard, uh, I believe, and uh, I mean, you know, it just kind of grew from there, the Wolf Pack, and they've been since, you know, the, the, the three main members, Jimmy Jitsu, Zimmerman, and Sam FM, three of the funniest dudes ever. Are the, the they're the original Wolf Pack, and of course myself, Dubs, Thomas, when he was with the show, would make calls. Uh, Constantine, we would use him to get on clips of people who've been on our show, all that stuff. We just kind of started making different versions of uh, of the Wolf Pack. We called it the Wolf Pack because it wasn't just like one phone call; it'd be like five guys at once jumping in and stuff. And oh, we should mention microphone from here in Cincinnati did a, a couple legendary ones, I think. Uh, you know, like you got your peckers out or your boners and all, you know, all those things. Uh, these are all available up on, uh, uh radiowolfpack.com and TJ, who is in Philadelphia, will jump in and make some classic calls too. I mean, but the three, the three main dudes, <laughs> look at these three handsome gentlemen over here oh, uh, let me actually hold on over here is jimmy jitsu this is like the brady bunch of prank callers <laughs> jimmy jitsu sam fm is right here he's in the secret oh, fm yeah. studio and then 
<laughs> then down here is Chris Zimmerman. Or oh, just Zim, right? Zimmerman. We can't yeah. say his, his secret name. Uh, and he obviously, taken, he's on his, his uh, lunch break at, at the Asian massage place. So uh, you know, there's a client right behind there that is uh, mm-hmm. just waiting for the session to end so he can begin his. <laughs> I'm actually the masseuse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, now, you know, imagine if we had this Zoom stuff years ago, being able to get together and make those calls. You know, how fun would that have been? I always have a better time when I can see everybody's reaction. It's just so much. There's just something about it. It just like reminds me of like you know, like, like old days in the bedroom with your friends making the calls. I'm like, Ugh. I know. So it was like that. I know, and it sucks because you know, kids now they're not making prank calls to radio shows and stuff. They're just you know, on Bumble and Twitter and st- or whatever, you know? Who cares about that? Spotting each other on Xbox. Yeah. You, I was going to say, is heckling on, on, like, Call of Duty, is that is that the equivalent of a prank call now? Or whatever that game is they play, uh, Fortnite? Yeah, I don't know. Can you see them on there? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it. I get a lot of the feedback uh, when we make calls and you see us just dying when somebody... <laughs> like, when that... When that phone screener got got uh, it got a little <laughs> that phone screener got one pushed I, around. The first one I think about. Yeah, I know because you oh, and what? I, Jimmy, were like, "Oh Jesus Christ!" <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Jeez, I can make keep track of time. Too busy. Been honking on Bobo over here. What? what do you think? I'm sorry, can you? Bobo? I'm sorry, can you? We got different Have you been here. honking on? Why? Oh. Why did you do that? I didn't do anything. I'm we having a problem here. Because I'm asking them. I'm asking them. And, there, and, and then he swears on the air. Get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, folks. We are having a little meltdown in the studio here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but it's a problem. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a mini rebel on the part of people who should know better. Um, I'm you not- just ripped the screener. <laughs> yeah, that was it's fun. always the best when the screener takes it. Oh, I know. Why didn't you know they lied to you? Why do they do that? Why do, why do they yell at the screener like they're supposed to know? Like that the, it, We're calling about the topic. Yeah. Yeah, like we called him. We're like, hey, hey, Don, it's Jimmy. Prank phone call. Uh, yeah. Put me through, please. Hey, can you put me through? <laughs> I want to prank call your host. Mm-hmm. <laughs> please hold. I have uh, the list of what you guys said were your favorite ones, and I was pulling them up, and I was giggling all the way through it. Again, I, I don't get... These never get old to me. Mm-mm. Right? Do you guys ever go back yeah. and listen to them? I mean, I don't have a whole lot of access to them, but sometimes you'll play one and I'll forget all about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I yeah. just recently, I recently got a new phone. So I, I migrated my iTunes library off an old hard drive and I had a bunch of old stuff on there that was just forget about it. You know, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I forgot all about them. Oh, so. me too. And some that we play or, or I'll go to play or whatever. I hear them back and I go, Ooh, we can't play that anymore. <laughs> 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 but man, I have listen. I can send you guys the link to the entire library. I put a lot up on uh, RadioWolfpack.com. dot com. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. What's up, boys? How are you doing? Very Fantastic. good. What's How on your you? mind? Well, first of all, I'm listening to your show, and I'm getting angry with what's going on. I mean, all this controversy. This uh, this season's already a wash. It, it, it hasn't even started yet. I mean, what do you two dildos think about this? Uh, well, you know, well, I think uh, you're never going to be I'll on a radio you, show again. Is our what thoughts I think. are long and distinguished, but we'll get back to you on that. Um, and you know, and maybe next time you call in, you'll no, like he's not getting on responsible again. adult. He's not getting on again. What? What? Is that a pissed off Washington? Fan? I don't know. Why did he have a beef with anything we said? I'm just reporting what the end. We just reported. Said. Don't know. Joe, what's up? What's up, Joe? Hi, Joe. Hey, it's Joe. Hi. Hey, uh, did that guy call you guys a bunch of dildos? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, obviously. All right, tools. We've got nothing better to do today. Go, hey, let's call in the radio They're show. We'll all fire off the same bad word. See, the problem is we have your phone numbers here. Well, yeah. well and the problem is and your phone got... numbers lead to, you know, if something really bad happened, uh, you, you won't got get a knock on your door by the police. <laughs> 
What are we going on over 10 years probably of doing this as this mm -hmm. group? You know what I mean? Oh, easily. Right? Oh, by the way, Jimmy, before we talk about because your favorite one had to do with wrestling. I don't think I posted this, so I'll just show it to you guys here. My mom had this in her house. <laughs> You did. You did post that. Or oh, not, okay. either post, no, maybe you just sent it. Yeah, you sent it to me in a text. The rooster. Yeah, that's me with Terry Taylor. Uh, this is it. And I'm wearing a Wayne's World hat. Yes, that's right. And Ooh, I didn't uh, pick up on the Wayne's World hat. Yeah. And then on the bottom is the WCW card of his. This was in my mom's house. She had she's had this since the 90s. <laughs> I mean, the Look, back there's a very good chance that that Terry Taylor card is in here. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the gum. I want the, the, the awful gum that comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Taylor. Dude, I love Terry, Terry Taylor when he was a bad guy and stuff. I think there was a real short stretch in like the very early NWA like TBS times where I liked him too, but yeah. he was pretty awful. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, they made him the Red Rooster in the WWE. I mean, right. What about when he was the Tailor Made Man and he came out with that one chick that had the little computer? Yeah, Alexandria York. <laughs> yeah, the Tailor Made Man. <laughs> <laughs> what? But nothing more insulting than telling a guy, "Hey, you got to cut your hair like a rooster," and then walk around the ring going. Ur, ur, here, let's play. Let's play this one. This one is a good one from Jimmy Jitsu. I think you guys should be able to hear it. All right, here we go. Thank you for waiting. You're next to WBSM. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to talk. You was oh, everybody's talking about Trump. Let's not forget Trump was in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Do we remember he's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame? And when you you, you go back to the fake news, it's like all the time in, with the wrestling, they they call the airplane spin. It's a move. It's not an airplane spin. It's like a helicopter twirl. So why not call it a helicopter twirl? It's not an airplane. They spin like a propeller. Okay. So what, what did he get in the Hall of Fame for? I know he was uh, involved in that takedown outside of the ring. Uh, but that was yeah, all a put a on, right? Versus, he had a hair versus hair match with Vince, with, uh, Vince McMahon. Was it Vince and, uh, McMahon? They but put, I, They put him in the Hall yeah, of Fame for him, that, though? They put it, well, they put him in the Hall of Fame, but I just want to know why they call it an airplane and not a helicopter twirl or something. Uh, you know what? I'm not a wrestling fan, so I couldn't answer that question for you. Yeah, well, what are you, queer? You don't like a wrestling? Uh, <laughs> well, the other guy apparently that likes running around with guys in tights. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> that had to be a Boston or a New England station because I was doing that ridiculous accent. Uh, but the it sounded like Philly. Yeah, could have been, yeah. The engineer Dave is always in our studio, and you always go like, uh, "What are you queer? You don't like wrestling?" <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was at that jujitsu seminar, like right, right after that thing aired, and this dude came over to me that I, I didn't know him, and he was like, "Hey, I got a question for you," and I was like, "Yeah," and he goes. Why is it called an airplane spin and not a helicopter <laughs> twirl? And I looked at him, I was like, "No oh, shit, no, oh, you know." Well, it is, <laughs> a, really it is a legit question. <laughs> yeah, it's very legit. We did another one with airplanes, didn't we? Where the guy was, where we all like hit him about air, and it was something about airplanes. It was the airplanes. Um, no, it was the one. It was the got nothing call, and mm -hmm. we were talking about um, something about the Boeing jets. The Japan Airlines? Yeah, yeah, something like that. It was a guy that guy know. was very upset by us. That yeah. was like Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, those guys are always upset. It's the Jay Thomas show. Is the that show. Yeah, one of yeah, the best right. ones. The Got Nothing Call is one of the best ones. Oh, I love all those. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me, we'll, we'll do some off the cuff looking it up right now. Uh, oh, Sam, that was your idea, wasn't it? The Got well, Nothing? Well, you know. Yeah, sure. Well, the, which one was it? The um, let's see. It was inspired by Chris's listeners. Jay, the Jay Thomas show, I think, is the best. Got nothing one. Oh, here it is. Yep. Uh, got, got nothing. This is kind of like yeah, goofing on the people who would call my radio show, who just go, yeah. "Hey, how's it going? What's up, guys? <laughs> How you guys doing?" Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's grab a call right away. Sam, you're up on the Jay Thomas show. What are you all upset about, Sam? Oh, I tell you, I'm just uh, on the road driving home. And? Oh. Yeah, I, I saw the game. Uh, I saw the game there. The the Vikings game? 
Oh, yeah, I know. That's crazy. So, hey, Sam, appreciate the phone call. Uh, lines are loaded. Rick, you're up on the Jay Thomas Show. Hello. How's it going, guys? Hey, what's up, hey. buddy? Not much. How are you? Good. Go ahead. You're on. <sighs> that says it what's all. Up? Thanks. <laughs> oh, God. What a dick. <laughs> Rick, hey. yeah, go ahead. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. All right, Larry, explain to Rick how it works. Jimmy in Fargo, Jay Thomas Show. Hey, good afternoon. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Not much, man. Monday, just trying to recoup from the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go ahead, Jimmy. Nah, it's, yeah. That's what I was doing, yeah. <laughs> I see you want to talk about the holiday tax break. Wait, what's that? Okay, hold on. Explain to him, too, Larry. Uh, Bill, you're up on the Jay Thomas Show. Hey, guys. What's Love up? the show. Thanks, man. What's going on? Just listening to the show on my way home. All right. Uh, where are you calling from, Bill? Uh, right downtown. Right downtown. What do you want to talk about? Whatever you guys want to talk about. Bring it up, man. Go ahead. The floor is yours. What are you guys doing? All right. Hold on. <laughs> Steve, you're up on the Jay Thomas show. Oh, yeah. I saw the game. Yeah. What'd you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what'd you think, Mike? <laughs> Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, what would you think of it? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Go ahead. I'm just sitting here. Yeah, I'm just sitting here. You've been sitting there for 17 minutes. I sure have. I love your show. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Michelle in Fargo, you're up on the Jay Thomas show. Hi. What's up, Michelle? Nothing. What can I do for you? What? Come on. Are we going to play this game all afternoon long? Are you people all sitting at the same party or what? Come on. What? Really? This is all you've got to do with your lives? Are you kidding me? Go ahead, Scott. Boy, that last caller, huh? Yeah, what's up, Scott? I agree. What do you think? Oh, give me a break, loser. I love when we call these cities and we do a fake accent and no one else has an accent. Like the real callers <laughs> never have an accent and the hosts never have an accent. <laughs> I love your show. <laughs> that, that, I agree. What do you think? You, that was an actual caller in Portland. Yes, it was. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it was. Yeah, that was a clip that, for a long time. That was the spawn of all the, the, the got nothing calls was that guy. It was like... Yeah. Hey, I agree with you. What do you think? Yeah, that was the <laughs> dumbest thing. That was that call blew me away when it happened. Like, what? What? It's confusing. <laughs> no good. Uh, yeah, what do you guys on. On Zoom meeting? Come on, yeah. you loser. <laughs> what are you guys sitting around ordering pizzas or something? That guy, that one guy had that come back on us one time. <laughs> what are y'all just sitting around ordering pizzas or something? The comebacks are just as good too. Yeah. Mom's basement is yep. always the go to. Full, Mom's full basement. Moon. <clears throat> full moon's a good one. Yep. Get a job. Yeah. Right. One. Bunch of losers. Do you guys, is this funny to you? Thing. What's that? Is this funny? Yeah, is this right. funny yeah. to you? Yes. How is this funny? Extremely. <laughs> I'm going to trap your number. You're going to be getting a phone call. Oh, yeah. That's the other one, too. You're going to be getting a phone call from the authorities. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> we had. I think it was Foley in <clears throat> Kansas called us, called me, pretending to be a sheriff once. I yeah. had a guy okay. recent, one of the more recent ones, a dude, and it was a listener. It wasn't even the guy, um, it, uh, cause the guy gave out my Google voice number and one person called like three times and he was doing like, he was doing like the stupidest, like he was, he was like, it was Ben, bend over. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Good one. <clears throat> But yeah, so anytime we would do this with Blake and he would get a call back, he would freak out thinking there was going to be like the cops showing up at his house. And at one time we did the uh, it was something it was about like uh, health care. It was a press conference, kind of telephone conference thing. He called in and said some shit. <laughs> And then, and then they kept calling him back, and he was texting us, going, "Should I just pick up and tell him I'm sorry? I mean, I was just playing around." <laughs> as long as you record it, you should definitely do that. <laughs> uh, Blake must have known someday he was going to jail for something. Exactly. Yeah, he was guilty. <laughs> I got to do a contest real quick. What's sorry. Yeah, Hold on ahead. one second. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, yes, go. Oh, we're live, pal. Got to work. Sorry. Hold on. 
Yeah, Sam's out. Sam has to give away Bill Miller's gift certificates. <laughs> <laughs> Whataburger, get it right. Oh, Whataburger. <laughs> Just give them to one of your friends. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at him. Huh? huh? We're all I'm, here. I'm recording this for broadcast. Hello, I'm recording this for broadcast. Congratulations. <laughs> Good afternoon, you're on the air. Well, I, I, met, I heard you talking about pies just as I tuned in uh, when you were talking to the rest of nobody about pies uh, for the holidays. Is there any specific pies that your family makes? What's your favorite, John? I don't eat. Uh, I don't eat any pies. You don't eat pies for like Thanksgiving? No. Jeez. Oh, no, not Jesus well, pies. That, no, I know that. <laughs> uh, what about hair pie? You don't like hair pie? No. Love. Love it. Oh, you don't like air pie? What are you, a sausage guy? Good afternoon, you're on the air. Hey, good morning. What's with all these uh, packer heads on the, on, the, on the line? Uh, good afternoon, you're on the air. Did somebody say air pie? <laughs> uh, somebody must be playing games. <laughs> I have a, the one that Zim, the, the one that you said you like, were, were the poo poo calls. Those are great. Yeah, I don't know what they are. I don't. You know, it's funny. I when I started playing, I'm like, I remember these, but I was like, what the poo poo calls? This is an example of the ones I'm like, I don't remember this. <laughs> That's what Dave was referencing. Let's get uh, Chris in here. Chris, what are your thoughts? Well, I was, I was sitting on hold uh, about the Parnell case, but while I was sitting here, there was this huge accident. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, the accident was in my pants, and there's poo poo. Okay, four one zero four six seven. See, Ash, we it never, really we never failed. The- we <laughs> never fail to entertain you. Just remember that you you come into the weekend review, and we say there's poo poo. <laughs> remember that? I, I, I know that's what's so now. funny. I'm like, oh, good, I can I can play this one. Here's another one. And several emails that I received, but let me go to the call. Let's go to Chris. Chris, you're on the Jack Gravely Show. Hi, Jack. You're hey. talking about being afraid of police officers. And I have a police officer on the way to my vehicle right now because during the news break, I had an accident. OK. Yeah. Okay. I had an accident in my pants and there's poo poo all over. Oh, poo 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 poo. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want that foolishness on my show. This is so fun playing uh, these, you know. And of course, uh, uh, the Wolfpack, we're always calling uh, our buddy John, John Dion. I've never spoken to him. You never have? <clears throat> uh-uh. All the phones are tied up, by the way. Hi, you're on the air. Hello? I, I, heard, I heard the number on the radio. You yes. told me to call. Yes. Are you calling the talk show? Yes. Well, you're on the air. Oh, is this John? Yes. Do you have a subject you want to talk about? We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. May I help you? Yeah, I was just uh, I was uh, hearing you loud and clear over here. Oh, what can I do for you today? <laughs> what do you make of it? <laughs> it's one of those days. What can I tell you? Hi, you're on the air. Hello? Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Who's that guy? Hi, you're on the air. Am I on the air? Uh, when you're on the hold button and I say hi, that means you're on the air. Hi, you're on the air. Hey, these people, man. I mean, what, what do you think, man? These people are right. Because, uh, you know? Pardon me? <laughs> these people. What, what, what about them? I mean, they're, you know? It's <laughs> they're not making, are they making a point? I mean, I, I, I don't, I, what do you think? Well, I, they haven't said anything. What's that? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know uh, what uh, uh, what's happening, Jeff Reno. I, know, I wanted to see what you wanted to do here. No, it, it's it, this happens before. I know this one's okay. I know the, that one's okay. Oh, that's, 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 is that you? Hello, are you okay? John. Yes. Uh, this is Bernie. We had sacred, sacred heart Catholic Church on Second Avenue. Yes, how you I wanted, doing? I wanted, oh, I'm good. I wanted to tell you about an uh, event we got coming up. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Yeah, Sacred Heart Catholic Church. Yes, I know where it is. I went to the church. 
Second Avenue, Ola Street. Yes. Right. What you, about? You, what? John, yeah, John. Yes. We're having a, a special event. I'd like to invite everybody. What is it? Yeah, it's a it's a sacred heart Catholic church. What's the event? It, it's a sacred sacred heart Catholic. <laughs> Such a loud hang-up. Oh, I know. I think that's what's so great about it is his hang-ups are so loud. So that's the punch at the end of every joke. You did a lot of research for that one. I, that was good. Yeah. Kept it local. Oh, God. Sam's infatuated yeah. with that guy. John. You're going to find that guy's dead body. He's going to go, oh, yeah, I believe Sam if I'm killed him. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Got to take Patrick's <laughs> cathedral. <laughs> He's buried out behind. John. Yeah, super hot over there on uh, Stood. That's where the body is. <laughs> John, I know you like to kill that. some hookers? You ever throw a hooker off a bridge? <laughs> ever do that, John? Put, put it in a <laughs> trash bag? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, just as a little promotion, I want to uh, tell everybody that uh, you can follow me always up on uh, KidChris.com, at KidChris on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, uh, the iHeartRadio app has uh, my uh, daily podcast, my show, the radio show, and uh, also uh, on uh, Apple iTunes. Anywhere you get podcasts, you can get all that shit, all right? And uh, we're talking with the Wolf Pack, the three main dudes from the Wolf Pack, uh, Zimmerman. Uh, we're talking to Sam FM and uh, Jimmy Jitsu, who uh, his favorite uh, Wolf Pack call is uh, this one. This is a classic one. I like, well, mostly because Connie's on there, but I do like. I do like it's a Russell, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. I love Russell. I wish Russell would make more appearances. Yeah, we have a call coming in oh, all the way from Atlanta. Hello, you're on with Mother Love and Jewel Diamond Taylor. Mother Love, yes. I wanted to see what you thought about this video about the Marines and what they were doing to the dead Taliban. I have no idea what you're talking about, Chris. You're on the air live with Mother Love and Dr. Jewel Diamond Taylor. Do you have a question for her? Yes, actually, I, I'd like to know if she could tap her breasts on the. <laughs> see, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. See, and that's why I got control over the, over the button. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. see that? <clears throat> there see, you go. There I know what go. to do. So just hang up on the crazy people. Hello, you're on with Mother Love and Joel Diamond Taylor. Hello. Well, well first of all, I, I want to apologize for that uh, devil that called in with a disrespectful to you ladies just about a minute ago. My yeah. question was um, do you got Netflix quick in that big old fun bag? You know, <laughs> See, I thought you were going to behave yourself. I, don't call up here talking stupid. If you're not going to be, be respectful of this radio program and respectful of my guests, do not bother to call here because I will hang up on you. Oh. So I, I don't appreciate you all being rude and disrespectful. Hello, you're on with Mother Love and Jewel Diamond Taylor. Hi. Um, I'm, I'm, my name is uh, Constantine. Uh, what kind of uh, music do you listen to in the uh, in the uh, Travel. I have no idea what you're talking about. I said, what kind of music do you listen to in the show? You know what? What, what, did I, what did I just tell you? What did I just say to you all? Didn't I just say, do not call up to this radio program and being rude and disrespectful to my guests? Hang up. up the, stop, hang stop up. Stop hang up. <laughs> Where is the button? Is wait, a minute, wait a minute. Let me let me let me get him off the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> you tricked him oh, Just ridiculous today. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> All state would like you to meet Mike and Jimmy Erickson. Oh god, he got the punchline in <clears throat> through the commercials. Whew. Yeah, she was able to clip us, but Connie, man, somehow yeah. she got got her all disheveled. <sighs> he didn't say anything dirty. He just was I know. <laughs> it was a prank, but it was real speech. <laughs> well, uh, that's that's Sam FM. <laughs> yeah, Zimmerman, and then that right here is Jimmy Jitsu. These are the Wolf Pack guys. And uh, Sam didn't say much, but that's okay. He had to do a contest. <laughs> Giving out ribs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but guys... Nick Rib is back! Yeah, It was great seeing you and uh, talking to you. Thanks for coming on and, uh, and reminiscing with these old calls. These are great. I lo love you. Is that it? I love well, you. Thanks. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> 